Great to see you here. This is another YouTube video offered to you by the Custer Academy. My name is Luke De Custer. If you're here for the first time, do not forget to click on the subscribe button or you already watched some videos but you didn't subscribe yet. You can do it at this moment. Do not forget to click the bell button because then YouTube will inform you when there is a new video online. What are we going to look at in this video? Well, we are going back to earned value management. And earned value management, we've seen, we've defined the present, uh, not the present value, uh, that's for finance, but the plan value, the earned value, the actual cost. And now I want to look a little bit deeper into the earned value, the plan value, and the schedule variance. Those things are a little bit strange when we look at earned value management when we reach the end of the project. But let's first recapitulate. We have our S-curve. You know, I prefer a line here. It's easy to draw. We have at a certain time, T1, a certain plan value. We have T end, the end time of the project, where we reach the budget at completion. Basically, all the work is done there. So when we finish the project, all the work is done, all the value has been earned. Now here we see that we have at T1, we have earned value, which is lower than the planned value, which means that the schedule variance is negative, which is not good. So we measure the schedule variance here. But now let's look at a possible way that the earned value evolved over the project. I'm just taking a line. I'm not drawing any lines, so it could be something like this. And basically we arrive here. This is the end of the project. Why is this the end of the project? Because here the earned value is equal to the budget at completion. This means that the project is finished. All the work has been completed. And we find a new duration of the project. So we have here down on the T axis, T new end. Now, what happens here? When we look, calculate the schedule variance, what is the schedule variance here? The schedule variance is still earned value minus back. Now, in the case we finished everything, so we earned the totality of the project. So in this case, in this point, the back is equal to the earned value, which also leads to the fact that the schedule variance is zero. This would mean that we are on time. But when we look at the time scale, I see here a delta t. So I'm basically late. It's not correct, but my schedule variance is zero. Now, what happens? The moment that I arrive here at the expected duration of the project, even when the time difference is still increasing, the schedule variance is decreasing to reach zero. And that's not really good because we have an impression here that we are improving, that our schedule variance is getting smaller. So basically, we could say we are, in fact, improving our performance, our schedule performance, and it's not the case. Now, to remediate with this, we define a second parameter, and we say, let's have a look. We earned the value at T1, but we should have earned the value here, which means, let's call this T2, which means we are late. We have a delta time here, delta time, which is T1 minus T2. Or when we put it at a new parameter, we can call this the time variance, which is then T2 minus T1, which again gives us a negative value when we are late. So the time variance, the new variance, is in fact looking at a different way. And we call this earned schedule. 
we are not looking at the amounts anymore, but we really look at the time difference. And when we continue, we see that that time difference keeps on growing, and we find that the time here, the time variance, time variance is basically t, the nth time minus t nu nth, which is not equal to zero anymore. So basically this method shows us a more realistic approach on how to use the time, the earned value. We're not looking at the cost spent anymore, not at the cost earned, but we are looking at the time earned. We will look into this deeper with some exercises, try to define the SPI using these parameters, and we will do that with some calculations and some formulas. That was this about the schedule variance and the time variance, a new way to look at projects, and it's a very interesting way to consider when you are working with earned value management and you want to have a more realistic approach to your schedule position. Typically, very effective after the theoretical end date of the project has been reached. That was it for this video. I hope you liked it. We have some follow-up videos to come. When you're here for the first time or you didn't subscribe yet, click on the subscribe button, click on the bell so you will be informed whenever we have a new video. Thank you and see you soon. Bye-bye.